Hey guys, Cyclomania here. Figured I'd shoot a video of the RO filter installed and working. Um, I'm pretty excited about how it turned out and uh, how fast the unit is. Um, it works really good. Um, I was talking to my buddy at uh, Indoor Garden Supply. I think it's uh, IGS on YouTube. And he uh, helped me figure out how to work this thing the right way. So basically what he decided was... Uh, <clears throat> He bypassed that uh, chlorine. We took out the uh, switch solenoid that was there and uh, figured out how to just run it normal. So um, basically I'll go over this and show you guys my install and uh, my thought process behind it all. So uh, basically it all starts over here where uh, I added a uh, water supply to the RO unit. And I know you guys remember my previous videos to... Uh, basically where I had been getting my water supply from the house right here at the water heater so we just added this T in here put this barb fitting in here and today I just uh, bought this unit right here barb to barb three quarter to half inch to brass uh, which is uh, half inch to one quarter that's the only way you can go down and then uh, just a quick connect and uh, we run our water supply quarter 20 wise over there. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. So basically the water comes in over here and uh, put a ball valve here which it's on right now. Uh, my gauge is broken. For some reason, the uh, paper in the inside is a brand new gauge. I have to go take it back. It's touching the needle and preventing it from going forward. So uh, basically, I got to get that fixed. But uh, basically, I just uh, took an L bracket, bolted it to the piece of wood here, threaded my uh, T into there, and I built a little holder for the for the pressure gauge. It moves and so it works really good. But uh, basically, my water supply runs back here and into the beginning of the RO stage, pre-filter, sediment filter, sediment filter, sediment filter, then it comes out, runs through the membrane, blue is good water, and uh, I don't have this other one labeled, but uh, this is the waste that I got set up right there. But uh, my blue line, which is my RO line, comes down my shelf, lays across the ground right here, then I stapled it up with these blue little uh, staples and uh, melted the tube right there. And uh, we're filling up RO right now at a pretty fast rate. So I'm thinking this thing's around 100, 100 uh, 110 gallons a day. And I'm not sure, but uh, it seems like it's really fast. So that turned out really good. And uh, I'll show you guys the waistline. I think it looks pretty good, but uh, I just basically stapled it down, and uh, I did a little quick install. It's basically hooked up through a zip tie with the barrel sl uh, splice there, and uh, this is my wastewater, which is high in minerals, it's good for my plants and for the fish, obviously. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have that constantly going. And uh, I'm going to build an overflow in here, which is just going to be a bulkhead, and run a drain outside through this little crack right there. And basically, I'll just have this, comp uh, you know, sometimes whenever this RO unit turns on, um, it'll basically be running, you know, changing probably 100 gallons every two weeks. So maybe even less, maybe even more than that. But uh, this will be on a float switch or a float valve. So that'll, well actually, I was going to do that, but um, instead I got to run them over to here and uh, build a tank or whatever to hold water. And I'll have that gravity fed into here onto a float switch. I just did this for temporary for it to fill the tub up. But uh, there'll be a line that goes across here and basically... I'd be like 20 gallons over there or 5 gallons of uh, dosed calc, calc water 
and uh, basically uh, I'll just have that on a quarter inch drain that's gravity to about a, fl a float switch, one of those long barreled ones, and I'll have it dialed in and we'll, we should be good to go. So I got to go out of town for a few days and uh, I'm basically going to have this thing filling up while I'm gone. So. I'm real excited for that. I was happy I was able to figure this one out with the help of uh, my buddy. So, um, one other quick mod I did today is I completely insulated the whole thing, all the pipe, and uh, except for that spot's tied against the barrel, but put all this stuff in, which uh, should help with any heat loss that I have going on with the pipes since uh, they get air all around. Um, this tank's doing really good. There's that peacock. You can see he's starting to get blue or really blue on the front of the face and already starting to turn yellow and it's only been about a week since I shot that video. Uh, there's another male in there, an OB. OB peacock is going to be pretty tight. Can't wait to breed that guy. Baby tank's doing really good. Quite a bit of peacocks in there. I'm going to be stripping the uh, bumblebee cichlid today. Plants are doing really good. Well, I hope that uh, gets you guys excited about this. It's almost there. So uh, basically, I'll just wait to fill this up. I'm going to run bleach through it, and then uh, we'll dechlorinate it uh, by dumping all the water out and then pouring new water in again. And then uh, we'll do it one more time. So uh, this thing will be nice and clean. I still got to build the drain. I just realized that. I'm going to run that one out to the center, and they're just going to be internal drains, and then I'll run one up here, 90 up a little bit, maybe uh, split it off into a couple areas to grab water, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see this thing up and running, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you guys like that install, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. It'll be a few days before I uh, put another video on, but uh, next video this thing should be over half full, if not full, of RO water, so that'll be good. Alright, see you guys.